Hey guys, it's your favorite trading guru, Rene. And what shall I say? Yesterday was a really bad trading day. <laughs> Again, and here's the full honesty as always on the channel. So what happened yesterday in the FTMO trading accounts is uh, that everything was doing great. And then, um, yeah, at some point, boom, the news came in. And yesterday was the 25th. So I think the um, GDP was the news event that really made the trades collapse and yeah this is what we also saw in the charts of course so we first of all had this um, gbp us dollar trade and i'm talking about the first account now the 100k account where i trade the range breakout ea gbp us dollar and usc japanese yen and yeah first trade i mean this uh, buy breakout in gbp us dollar it was not going great but by the time the news were released it was not going that bad either and then there was the new spike uh, boom boom both directions hit the stop loss two times which generated of, uh, a loss of one percent in this single chart and then in the usd japanese yen it was not really looking better um yeah first of all the the, the direction was also long buy breakout was price was coming back into the range again and with the news event boom 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 stop out and then we had the stop order um, price was going down a little bit further but then yeah recovered and by the time of uh, 6 p.m trades uh, the trade was closed with which was not a bad decision because this would have also been a totally losing trade so overall in this account really really bad generated a loss of 1.7 percent which is um, yeah, total disaster, of course, in this account. But let's have a look at the metrics. So how does this look? If we have a look at the FTMO metrics, you can see it's a constant up and down in this account. So it's not the biggest drawdown that we had yet. Um, I mean, like in numbers, it might be the biggest drawdown because from the top, the drawdown is about 5% now. But um, the, the overall total loss in the account was with 2,500 US dollar worse than it is now because now we are 1,200 uh, USD below the starting point. Um, wait, is this number actually correct? Um, yeah, it's one point. Yeah, it's, it's one percent below the starting point, I would say. So this is where the account is standing right now and i mean this is of course it's always a mental up and down when the performance doing perf performance is doing good when it's doing bad and this uh, is of course never easy to see but um, yeah if we have a long uh, term back test with this specific strategy i mean in the end i i have to say this is completely normal like there are there can be months like in the next five months it could look always like this a little bit up a little bit down uh, one step up two steps down, two steps up, one step down. This is completely normal. And then at some point when we enter really like trendy markets, this could be the situation when the um, the strategy really accelerates and generates all the profits. But yeah, right now, last few days where a lot of sideways uh, movement, so this is not, not perfect for the strategy at all. But um, yeah, we are still... Um, kind of okay here and we are not va violating any of the FTMO rules of course and yeah the profit factor by now is below one which is of course not what we want to see but this is um, yeah the, the, the current state here right now and yeah GBPUS dollar is generating the losses right now with over 4,000 um, uh, USD lost and uh, USD Japanese yen even though yesterday was a really awful day it's it's still profitable in the end so yeah, let's just have a look at the next account. So the next account, I will go over these a little bit quicker and maybe let's have a look at the trades together because in these two accounts, the trades are completely the same. I trade the range breakout EA again, a little bit different range in GBPUS dollar, as you know by now already. And I use the break even stop. Unfortunately, the break even stop was not able to help yesterday because also in USD Japanese yen, the trade was not, uh, it was, it barely touched the take profit i think it should be 300 points to trigger the break even stop but it looks like the ask price for a short order i coded it so that the ask price has to be below this level and it was very very close but it was not quite there and this is why the uh, the, the the loss in these two accounts 
um, yeah, was also around 1.5 to 1.7 percent. If we have a look at the metrics quickly here, we can see um, these accounts are doing way better, by the way, because they have this break-even stop, and it seems to be super beneficial, especially in these ranging markets um, in the last month. So we can see this is the account where I trade the 10k account with 0.5 percent for every single trade, and this is still in profit by around 3 percent. So uh, all the statistics are looking great and everything. And and yeah, we can see uh, also, of course, the symbols are generating profits. And now if you have a look at the next account uh, that I just showed, the, the other 10K account where I trade with the 0.1 lots fixed, this is um, the, the performance looking similar. It's a little bit more stable, so to say, because of the 0.1% fixed. Uh, the risk is usually a little bit lower for the trades. And yeah, also profit factor doing great. And uh, here we can see GPS dollars now a little bit uh, in a losing spot, but it's not as bad as in the other account. So this is for the Forex accounts. Then, of course, we, we, we do still have the, um, the stock trading account here. So let's have a look at this also. Let me make this a little bit bigger so we can actually see something. And there were also two trades in the stock account yesterday. Both of them were losing trades. We can see one trade in Amazon and one trade in, wait, it was in Apple. Apple was a really bad trade, lost 0.75%. Apple lost around, I don't know, maybe 0.1, 0.15. Yeah, around this. So overall about, not not totally, but around 1% lost in this account. This account is still doing fine so far, 1.5% in profit overall. And if we have a look at the metrics, we can also see this. So here you can see, I don't trade this account for such a long time, but it's going up a little bit, coming down a little bit. And yeah, then we have um, the statistics here. And overall, we can still see Apple is still doing great, even if it has this losing trade. And Amazon is also doing great. So yeah, nothing, nothing too bad here. We are still, still good in this account. And then let's fast forward to the last account that I want to show here. It's uh, the account where I trade two major stock indices, uh, US and Germany. And here was a losing trade in US 30, where it lost 0.5% on the account. And there was a small, a very small profitable trade in uh, and German index. So overall 0.5% lost. And this is how it looks in the FTMO metrics. So it's around plus minus zero. So nothing too much I can talk about here. Uh, profit factor is still good. It's, it's because there are just not a lot of trades. It's 11 trading days. So nothing really to talk about. And both symbols are in profit. So it's, it's not that bad, actually. And yeah, that's it for the summary. Now, in the end of this video, I want to ask you, um, because I realized after doing the third video of this kind, is that it's really always kind of similar. So uh, maybe I should either make these videos um, more uh, quicker, so I can just go over the trades and show the performance, so make it like one or two minute videos maybe, or should I talk about more stuff? Maybe you can you can leave me a comment so I can read it and maybe adjust this format a little bit, just experimenting with this. But if I do a video like this every single day, maybe I should some uh, should add some more um, like things to talk about um, to these videos, or maybe I should just make them shorter and quicker. So let me in the com uh, let me know in the comments what you would prefer. And yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you had a better trading day yesterday, and all the best for today's trading day. And yeah, see you in the next video. Bye.